Hello guys, welcome to the very first session of developing e-commerce application from scratch using Angular and Spring Boot. So as the name suggests, throughout this series we are going to learn how can we develop any application such as e-commerce application using the technologies like Angular and Spring Boot. So the main reason why I am creating this series is because on the social medias like Instagram, Facebook and WhatsApp and also on the email I get lot of messages and emails by saying that hey Varad I have the knowledge of Angular, I have the knowledge of Spring Boot as well and I have, the, so I have some of the knowledge of database as well. I can work individually on Angular, I can work individually on Spring Boot and also I can write some individual uh, queries into a uh, database SQL by using SQL. But when it comes to a developing entire application, developing entire end-to-end -end application, then in such a cases we face a lot of problems. So over here, the main, main reason why people face a lot of problems is because people have the knowledge of maybe any technologies like Angular, Spring Boot, Database. So they have the knowledge of all, the, all of the technology stacks, but they don't have the knowledge of project development phases. They don't know how to start any developing any project and how to uh, take it ahead phase by phase. So project management and project development life cycle is also really very important. So this series is going to be all is going to be helpful to all of the people who faces similar issues. Obviously, throughout this series, we are going to focus on Angular. We are going to learn many different concepts of Angular. Similarly, we are going to learn many different concepts of Spring Boot and also a database. And alongside, we are going to uh, see lot of concepts which will help you to uh, develop this e-commerce application. So we are going to see all of those concepts but alongside we are going to focus on the main thing that is a project development. So we are going to mainly learn like how can we develop any uh, project. So project development is going to be a key and in this we are going to see how can we start any uh, project, how can we uh, take one uh, pro problem statement such as e-commerce application and how can we uh, start and how can we take it till the end. So we are going to see every single phase which is involved between these start and end. So from setup or uh, setting up the project till taking it to the uh, end we are going to see every single thing. Now the next question that may come into mind like who what are all these uh, things that we uh, required before continuing with this session so obviously we have to install few things so we have to make sure that we have installed few things on our machine before continuing with this session so I'll just provide the list of all the applications all the softwares that we may uh, require so very first thing that we are going to require is obviously um, such as VS code uh, obviously we require one editor such as uh, VS code and then we may require again a postman so that we can uh, test our different APIs. Now to develop the APIs we require obviously a Spring Boot. So we don't need to install a Spring Boot but we require a Spring Boot. So for this Spring Boot we require like IntelliJ or uh, if you are a fan of STS or Eclipse then we can use uh, the same things. So whichever ID you, uh, you like we have to install that ID and then again we are going to use a Java inside a Spring Boot so obviously we have to install the Java 8 so whichever version you like but obviously it should be greater than the Java 8 itself because we may need to use uh, some of the Java 8 concepts like um, stream APIs and many of the different concepts that we are going to use so we may require this as well also we have to make sure that Angular CLI is installed on our machine and also we have to make sure that Node.js is also installed on our machine. So Node.js is also required and then again lastly we can use a git. So git is optional you can use it or not but if you are using then it is going to be a very helpful uh, so that you can just keep your log uh, whatever the code you are going to add so it will it will be like it will help you to track all of these things. So I think VS code is required, Postman is required, uh, IntelliJ, STS, Eclipse, any ID that you like it's required. Java 8 obviously it needs to be installed. Angular CLI, Node.js is obviously needed and lastly optional 
git is also needed and one more thing one more very important that i left back is we we require a mysql so we have to install a mysql a db and also we have to install a mysql workbench so we have to install a mysql workbench so that we can use these or we can work on the mysql queries and tables and different databases uh, very very easily so we have to make sure that mysql uh, workbench is also installed so if we, just make sure that every single thing is installed before continuing with this series if you miss any kind of uh, installation then you can check out the description i will provide a link to the playlist which contains installation of all of these applications and softwares and uh, you can just uh, install uh, on these uh, on all these softwares on your machine so this thing is uh, necessary and lastly the next question that may comes in your mind is or who who can attend these series so this is also most important question like who can attend this series so it's really very simple like let's suppose if you are a student and if you are a let's suppose engineering student or diploma student and if you want to develop a final year project then obviously you can just check out this particular series and you can just see how can we develop any project and you can just follow the code and you can just develop the e-commerce application a uh, project let's suppose if you uh, if you uh, if you just uh, passed out from the uh, degree or a diploma any college and if you are just preparing for your interviews then obviously you can just uh, use this series to learn different concepts from angular spring boot and databases and let's suppose if you are working in any industry but if you want to get a knowledge of how to develop any kind of application from a scratch then you can just check out this particular series and lastly if you just want to learn something then you can obviously go through this series and you can learn many different concepts throughout this series so i hope i answered most of the basic questions again i i'll guarantee you that by watching this series at the end you will be able to take any problem statement and you will be able to start developing the application and you will not be only start the application i will guarantee you that it will just you will just take you to the application at the end so starting is not important taking the application ahead and taking it till the end is really very important so i hope throughout this series you will learn every single thing and obviously i'll be there to help you out in a many different cases so this thing is going to be a really very exciting so i hope you will definitely enjoy this series for more information just check out the description and whichever the information i may feel important i'll just share, put it down into a uh, description box so thanks for watching this series and we'll meet you in the next session